Good morning, everybody. Welcome to sunny Black Hall. Nice blue sky. Um, <coughs> we escaped the snow yesterday. There was snow all over the north, uh, but on the east coast, um, we didn't get any. Um, but two mile inland from the east coast was absolutely snowed under, gridlocked. People couldn't get to work and things like that. And uh, I've just spoke to Alan Gardner from South Shales and apparently they had no snow as well. So it must be all this nice sea air that we've got down here that uh, has kept it away. Um, last time we visited <coughs> visited my greenhouse was the 23rd of um, November when I was taking cuttings right at the top corner there. Um, that's where the first cuttings were taken. Um, and they're just about rooted now. Not ready to come off, but they are rooted. So from the 23rd of December to the 6th of January, um, I've need a pen and paper to work that <laughs> to work that out. But it's, uh, I'm quite happy. 99% um, strike rate. Um, remember, I had no root and powder on. Um, uh, and just took them straight in, watered them in, give them a good watering in. But the the runner um, soil warming cable, um, and that is set at. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's set at round about. Well, I've got set at thirty on there, but it doesn't um, read thirty at the bottom. Um, I didn't touch on how I propagate. Dead easy, really. Just a wooden bench with a soil warming cable. Rested on some silver insulation bubble, which you can get from B&Q, and then sandwiched between another piece of um, insulation. And the stack is just basically um, put in between the cables, not touching the cables, of course, but in between the cables, cables recording the heat, making sure it doesn't get too hot, and then it will um, cut off as uh, when when required, on and off when required. So, yeah, quite happy. Um, deers like this, you know, nice blue skies. They do um, tend to go quickly. But it's been a funny old year. When I've cut them, when I've struck them, they've never um, gone turgent. They've always um, gone limp. They've always been tur turgent and standing up. The last ones that I took the other day were these ones, week seven. So I've got i've got five in here week five mine and um some of mine and some of my customers and then week six finishing off on week i think seven yeah so these were just rooted the other day and they're still standing up not wilting no propagator on just you know the air i've got the air temperature set at this is the secret, I think. Um, the the colder you've got it, um, you do get sort of dampen of cuttings. But um, I've got mine set at, um, I think it's the bottom one, 8.9, and it's 9.3 in here. So when it gets down to 8.9, um, the heater does come on and hopefully keep the air temperature around about 8. And by doing that, I never seem to lose any cuttings at all. Um, I am wary on some varieties tend to stretch when they root, um, especially the wing fields. They can like get elongate very quick. There's some pink there. Um, so what I've done is, I don't want to get too complicated for the newbies. Um, I've used a, like a growth retardant that shortens, that keeps them short, um, and I spray them, I spray them twice, but when I spray them, I'll put a yellow tag in the compost, just to record that I've done that tree, just so I don't um, double doze on them. But I'm quite pleased, there's some nice cuttings here. Um, excuse my abbreviations on the labels, I know what they are. I've got down gold there, I know for a fact that that's gold caught you. Yeah. I can tell by the leaf. I mean, to be honest, if you took all the all the labels out of these, I could identify them, but probably not the spots, of course. 
but uh, they've all got their own little different um, habits the way they grow and the, the shape of the leaf and things like that this is a one that grows very quickly and elongates CL what that's Christopher Lawson um, they're rooted now um, and they are grown quickly so um, I have used a growth retardant and put a green um, a coloured label in that's what I use so um, yeah lovely morning um, I hope all your cuttings is rooting well and um, if you need any advice just please um, you know if, um, upload it on the Facebook page and on one of our experts either myself either or other growers will um, answer your questions that you've got so over and out from Blackwall Colliery in the northeast of England.